Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Not my usual intro, I am... I've just woken up. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm filming before work, that never happens. So I'm a little bit stressed, but I thought that we would do a get ready with me while I get ready for work. So I have already done my skincare and my brows and my eyeshadow primer, and I thought that I would try out this new palette. This is a palette that I was super excited about. This is from Blush Tribe's new brand, Mayali, and this is the palette that I really wanted, the Jasmine palette, which looks like this. So I'm just gonna jump right on in because if I don't, I will get late for work or have to scrap this video. So I'm going to start off with the shade Flamingo right here. I feel like it is a little bit too deep for my skin, but I think I can make it work, and if not, I have other shadows that I can use. In my crease, I think that this is a little bit more... I feel like this is a little bit more everyone friendly. It doesn't have your white transition shades, like for white people, so that's nice. Uh, some people have asked me what I thought about the brand as a whole, and I don't know. I feel like it is very reminiscent of Blush Tribe, not in quality, but in the way that she runs her business. I don't feel like it is, I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Just zoom you guys in just a tad. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing, but I feel like this is a super real get ready with me. Like I just woke up, did my skincare, put on a little bit of Samantha Roundall. She uploaded tonight when I was sleeping. So I had to watch my girl and coffee. I slept in this and I don't have a bra. Now I'm gonna take Red Kite, which is this one, which is more of a pink. And I need a new brush, I don't know what I was thinking. I am not the kind of person that can use the same brush over and over and over again, I need a new brush. Red Kite, and I'm just gonna place this right here, just below the first shade that we used, Flamingo. And we're working with natural lighting today and with my studio light because, or my ring light because Nicholas was going to town yesterday and I was like, okay, can you purchase a ring light for me or a, just the light, you know, like the light bulb, but because that's the only thing I needed, but they were, they didn't have it in stock. So now I have to order it online and I haven't done that yet because, um, the money to spend on that light bulb is so boring. Truth. Now I'm gonna take the shade no Noshin, Noshin, which is this deeper purple. And I'm just gonna take that in my... I'm sorry, but I think that they are prob... First, I thought that someone was like breaking in, <laughs> but I think that they have like builders or someone who's working here. Oh, yeah, I okay, I think I know what it is. So the other day, or the other week actually, last week when I was at work, Nicholas works from home, he, e he emailed me, he texted me and sent pictures and was like, something is happening. The picture that he sent was outside our apartment where the police was standing and they had like automatic guns and there were so many of them. Basically what ended up happening was that one of our neighbors actually flipped or something. It was something to do with his mental health and they had to break up his door break up, open his door, like break in to his apartment. Uh, so I think that now they are fixing it because probably he's coming home soon, which is gonna be very interesting. So I'm sorry about the noise, but I cannot wait. I wanna take the shade Annie, which is this one right here. I'm just gonna take that on my finger. It's such a beautiful shade. I have been loving using my finger for shimmers. I think that that was really pretty. I also want to use one of my pigments because um, it's me we're talking about. And I just like the way uh, when you apply it with your finger, like it goes all over the place. So you are not like precise or anything. You just kind of just slather it on, which I love. So I just applied some pigment primer from NYX and then I want to go in with this pigment from Sample Beauty, 
This is in the shade Salma, which I thought was very fitting since that's the owner of Mayali's brand. So what I like to do is that I'm spraying my brush and then I'm tapping into the pigment and then I'm tapping the brush off so that I won't get fallout. Where's my mirror? Here it is. And then I'm so sorry about the noise. And then I'm just gonna apply it right here. Yeah, that is just super pretty. Going in once again, tapping it off. If I see that a lot of glitter specks are falling out, I'm just taking this and spraying and then uh, going with the brush into it. So this is how you do it if you, this is what it looks like if you spray your brush afterwards and I like this. So sometimes I just spray a little bit of setting spray like on my leg or on a flat surface and then I dip my brush into it. And then I can work it into my eyes. I'm gonna take my Milani Prime Light Primer. This is all products that I have in my shop, my stash. I have been filming a lot lately, so I don't know if this is gonna be in my current shop, my stash when you see this, but who knows? I feel so bad. Nicholas is actually working late today and I feel so bad for him because I actually needed to run into the bathroom or to the bedroom to get a mascara. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna get to that later. Uh, so I needed to go in there to get that and I could hear him like grinding his teeth and sleeping really poorly. And that is probably because they are banging outside. And Sigis seemed to be very, very worried. He looked at me like, what is happening, mommy? But he's sleeping. He doesn't like to uh, go up with me because Nicholas was up with him late last night because he, Nicholas likes to sleep on. So Sigga is probably very, very tired and I'm not gonna get him and ruin his beauty sleep. So I'm gonna take this NYX foundation. I actually used it the other day, but then I thought it looked really dry on my skin. So I am going to add in a little bit of this one because it is a very watery and liquidy and dewy. I'm just gonna mix it on my leg as I always do. This is in the shade light, this is in the shade light too. And then I'm just gonna go in with this one. So regarding the mascara, so I, haven't bought an Essence mascara, you guys know which one I love, which is, it's this one. I usually get questions about which mascara I use or which lash serum I use. I don't use any lash serum and that's the only mascara I use. Sometimes I go in with this one as well, which is the volume and curl, but usually this is the only one I'm like truly obsessed about. It's waterproof. It doesn't give me too much curl because I never curl my lashes. The, these lashes are actually like very, very, I know it looks weird, but these lashes are actually very, very curly. So usually I just sit with them like this so that I can get them a little bit straighter. <laughs> I even tried to like flat iron my lashes. That's like how curly they are on this side because they curl backwards. Super strange, I know, but so anyway, yesterday I was like, okay, I need to order some more mascaras because I'm running low. They don't sell them anymore at the website where I usually purchase them. I was like, what? This is no joke. And I don't know if Essence has discontinued them, but what I could see was that more people had asked, like, why aren't you selling them anymore? And they were like, yeah, well, the demand might not be as high, so we're not selling them right now. Uh, but maybe if more people are asking about them, then we would bring them in again. So now I have to order them from a site that I don't like. I'm glad that I can still purchase them, but I don't like the website, so I'm like a little bit like, oh, what the fuck? Can I just get my mascara? Thank you. That's like the one thing that I don't want them. Ooh. I don't want them to mess with me about my mascara. You guys know how obsessed I've been about that mascara. There's nothing I've stuck to as much as this one, that one, and there's nothing I've loved 
more. And mascara is like so personal because I know that everyone loves different mascaras and everything. I just thought that the lines here were very, very strong. So I'm just gonna blend them out really quickly. Yeah, but it's like so personal. And then when they discontinue, I feel like Samantha Ravendal. I just wanna make a video about everything that they discontinued. It's not discontinued, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Maybelline Instant Age Eraser Concealer. This is in the shade Life, I think. I'm just gonna go in with this one. I have a long day at work today, so... But I need to edit a little bit before I go to bed. So some days I have really long days. That's an overstatement, really long days. But they are longer than my other days. So when I get home tonight, I need to edit one of my Instagram videos and then probably answer comments because I know that I have a, a YouTube video going up. And then I'm just gonna go to sleep. Oh, and yesterday I was so so tired so i just went to sleep super early which is why i was like okay maybe i can get up a little bit earlier today and film in the morning which is a first for me but i really enjoy it because i uh love to film get ready with me you guys usually like them i don't know what's happened with all of my analytics right now you are watching shit that i never thought you would watch and then you're not watching the shit that you usually watched and I think that that has to do with, I'm just taking a little bit of my e.l.f. Cam concealer. I think that that has to do with like YouTube and how they are promoting some of my videos because some of my videos has gotten demonetized because I've said fuck in my intro. So I kind of feel for to resist that. And then I was like, maybe I should try start a Patreon, but who? <sighs> I don't <sighs> No, because then I realized like, it's not about the money. I do this because it is my hobby. I think it's fun, so I'm not gonna do that. Oh my God, I'm not my normal self. I didn't take my milk makeup bronzer stick. I always use that before <laughs> I go in with my concealers. I don't know what happened. I'm gonna take this brush. I've really been liking this brush. This is from uh, Make the Make or something. It is a Swedish brand that is sold at Skin City. I haven't gotten these, by the way, I have purchased them myself, so just so you're aware of that. I really want to get time to fix my hair because I took a shower yesterday and my hair is not living its best life. It's like super frizzy up here and I just, I want to fix it a little bit. And then I just want to go in with my sponge again just to blend out any edges right here a lot of the products that i use here are like my everyday products that i use all the time like my milk make my milk makeup bronzer and then the other things is uh shop my stash products this is my private pan loose powder and i use this all the time and i'm just gonna blend out my lines under my eyes and then i just like to set right here And then I also like to uh, take more powder. This is just a Soeva brush and I like to take it right here because then I won't get it on my clothes or yeah, on my clothes. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm just gonna take the shade Flamingo and then I'm just gonna go under my eyes. Super easy like this. I'm not even looking in the camera. I might actually wanna do a little bit of a wing if I have time, what time is it? Oops. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do a wing with eyeshadow, I think. Do I have a black eyeshadow in my rotation right now? So I just took my black from my Linda Hallberg palette, or that's the black I'm gonna take, which is this one. It's called Fornax. Just stepping into that, and then I'm just gonna do a little wing. I like to do a little bit of a smokier wing and those doesn't have to be like super precise they are like super sloppy and a little bit like faded I really been loving that look so if you watch my IG tutorials like I upload one every single day then you would see that I've done this a lot 
So I'm just gonna finish this, do my mascara, and then I'm gonna, just gonna come back. They started again. I know, they started again. Bronzer, I am going to use this one. This is the Bronzing Babe of the Dunes. This is the shade to ignite desire. Just gonna swirl my brush into this. This is really, really lovely. Um, fuck the guys down there. I know they're just doing their job, but it's really, really annoying. I had to deal with this so much when I was working nights because when I wanted to sleep, everyone went to their job and needed to do what they needed to do. Oh my God, I took way too much bronzer. And that was not fun like trying to sleep to this sound trying to fall asleep to this sound no 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 i'm just going in with my uh, powder brush that i used just to tone a little bit of this down and then i've been loving an old goodie and that is my natasha denona bloom palette so just what i do is that i go in like this and then i tap off most of the product because this you you don't need a lot like right now i have more than a lot of people would like so just a little tip uh this is truly like a cream to powder so it applies like a powder but it is not a powder okay I'm gonna be quiet now and i actually a couple of weeks ago or maybe even one to two months ago went in with some of Duraline. I don't have Duraline, but I have the one from Revolution Pro, which is obviously a little a doopily doop. Uh, just because I felt like it was a little bit too dry. So now I feel like it's perfect when uh, it has synced in a little bit. So that's all I'm going to do for blush. I'm going to take my favorite highlight in the entire world. This is from Pixi. This is the Glowy Gossamer Duo in the shade Subtle Sunrise. This is just magic in a bottle. <laughs> it's not a bottle. Then I just like to go in with my blush brush again, just to blend in the blush and the highlight so we don't have that stripe. I also felt like the blush that we used or the uh, eyeshadow brush, eyeshadow palette that we used didn't really have a highlight. So I'm just gonna take this one in my inner corner. So I've already finished up a lot of my lip products on uh, during this shop my stash, but this is one that I am trying to get through. This is just Joy's Liquid Lipstick in the shade Charmed. And I actually had to take out the stopper, but I realized that it was so much product left in it. It was just that it had stuck in one different place. So we're gonna see, I don't think I will be able to finish this one up, but that's okay because I love this color. This is one of my favorite shades and it's super unique. I think a neighbor is yelling at the guy that is working downstairs. I'm gonna take a lip gloss, Can You Not from Dota Colors. And then I'm just gonna fix my hair real quick and then I'll be right back to finish, show you guys the finished look. I love to curl my hair, but sometimes it's just a struggle. So I just straighten it really quick because it's it feels like it's super quick versus this that takes a little bit of time. And I always get frizz right here after I've taken my bike to work. So I might need to put my hair up later, but I'd love to do these like half up, half down. So, you know, you have seen me have that so many times anyway yeah this is the finished look i really love it looks like this i feel like this is like super romantic i feel like this is similar to some other looks i've done but i just I, I love makeup like this and i cannot do something like super duper extreme when i'm just going to work you know let me just talk a little bit about the palette because i have a little bit of time actually so this was the jasmine palette and this palette was the one that I was super interested in. I was also very interested in another palette. She has four eyeshadow palettes and I have three of them. Two of them I have used. This is one of them and then the Yaya palette. The other one I haven't really used because it's not really my color story. Uh, but she has another one that I really want as well but it's not super unique. It's just like browns and 
pinks that I love. <laughs> I think that this palette is gorgeous. I think that this is super beautiful and I think that this could be a palette that you could use for summer and you can use it for fall as well. Like you can use it all year. I feel like these three, I said before that this didn't have a, a shade that I could use in my inner corner. Now I see it, that I, that this shade would be perfect. Why didn't I even think about that? Whatever, I used the mattes and I feel like the mattes aren't the same as her mattes that she had previously because these are a little bit creamier. These have a little bit more fallout, but also she had a bunch of different formulas in her previous brand. So it is a little bit unfair to say that as well, but I would say that the mattes here is overall just a little bit creamier but then again it's not as creamy as this the colors in the uh the Hasina 2 palette it's not as creamy as those mattes but it is creamier than the bigger shades that she had because some of those could be a little bit powdery i didn't love every single shade that there the now they're beginning they haven't made a noise in like since I left. Okay, I'm just gonna wrap this video up. Um, I like the shimmers. I like that they have different dimensions to them. I think that they are very pretty. I am overall very excited about this. So I'm just gonna get ready. I'm just gonna get dressed and then I'm just gonna head out for work. So I hope you have an amazing day. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye.